So I got my two regular rods rigged up, one here. Each one's got shrimp and one hook head on two, two hooks and one hook has fish bites. But uh, one is set up with floats, one is not. Along with floats, I may send out a little farther, even though it's on the smaller rod right now. Dig another sinker out. Think. What's up, everybody? Brian here with another episode of Fishing Control. We are set up on Tybee Island. We're right by the pier. You can see it there in the background. Um, it's pretty cold. It's like it was like 40 something degrees when I woke up this morning. Um, we've had a couple of warm spells, so I'm hoping it started to push the fish in, but like. Honestly, I've fished the beach, I think, five times already this year. I've been skunked every time. Um, so we're hoping today's going to turn that around. It's a beautiful morning. The major and minor morning bite times were, like, almost back-to-back. -back. Uh, it's the first morning that has said average instead of poor as, fo as far as predicted fishing quality. Uh, so so we got like two or three hours this morning. We're gonna we're gonna give it a good, you know Solid morning. Uh, I, I did wait until it was a little bit warmer because it's also like a sustained 13 mile an hour 15 mile an hour wind uh, Out of the north, so it's cold wind So I, I waited till the Sun was was starting to peak up before I got out here probably could have gotten another hour into this but uh yeah, the, the, the lines are out. We got shrimp out. We got cut croaker out. Um, we're actually about to check the baits for the first time here. I'm going to cut up some more shrimp here before I reel them in. So I'm ready to put them back out. Do that. Cut your bait up before you check your lines so that it's ready to be baited. Um, anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Pretty sure there's a hungry crab picking at this rod. We might make a move here in a minute. If we don't get a bite, we might move down to the south end of the island, give it a shot. Crab's picking at this rod now, I'm pretty sure of it. I get another shot? I think so. Yeah. Little short tick vibrations like that. Almost definitely not a fish. Almost definitely a crab grabbing hold of the piece of shrimp and then yanking off a piece of it. And it goes limp when he gets a bite. And he's eating a bite. And he's going to grab it. You can see he's yanking off another little bite of it. It's twitching. <laughs> I wonder if I can pull it slow enough to get him up in here. I'll totally use a crab as some drum bait. I need to order those crab snares and try that out. time setting because the wind and the current are going the same direction as an outgoing tide at the mouth of this river creek so they really are pushing out hard but in the midst of all that weight tumbling I do think I got a little hit there so we're gonna 
hold on here and see for a second. Could have been crabs again. They are all over the place out here. We'll give this spot a few minutes, but if things don't set better here, we're gonna move on around over there, the other side of this point. I got a whole croaker head out on the big rod. Oh, that's a real hit. That's a fish. Are you are you a target species target species finally holy cow y'all first whiting of the year and boy has it taken some effort not just today but a whole bunch of days So no, he is not a monster. Let's see if we can get a little bit better look at him. They're slippery, slimy, hard to hold on to fish. We're happy to have them. Let's get back out there. All right, third and final spot. That was a real bite here. Hope that was a fish and not a crab, because that was sure a real bite. Pretty sure it was a crab. Okay, so after that big crab bite, which I'm pretty sure is exactly what it was right here, I'm willing to bet I don't have any bait left on at least this short rod here. So...
I think. I think we're going to go ahead and call that, and we'll uh, we'll recap back at the truck. All right, so that's going to do it for today. First fish off the beach for the year, first whiting of the year, first saltwater fish of the year. Uh, pretty happy about all of those things. Um, probably going to make some fish and grits in the morning with this whiting. I might put that on the end of this video if that's what I do. Um, I know y'all have seen that before, but whatever, I'll do it again. Um, the weather has been atrocious. It's uh, It's been cold and windy a lot. Um, and then the days that I've had free, it's been pouring rain for the most part. This is the first really quality weather day we've had, and it was still cold and windy. But we still managed to pull something off, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to call it a win. And um, we're going to be out here... A fair bit more um, we should be able to get out here get back to two or three days a week at minimum uh, you know whether it's out here on the beach or at the pond near the house hopefully more on the beach uh, and there is still potentially a big update coming on that where man if this works out I'll be able to fish a lot more so stay tuned thank you for supporting the channel uh, thank you for sticking with it through the slow season. We're about to get back into spring. It's going to be full, full bore again. So thanks for watching Fish and Control. We'll see you on the next trip.